Hello, hello and happy Thursday and welcome to a live with Gabriella. We are, Gabriella had some lovely things to share and we're also going to answer even more of your questions. So we'll get to that in just a second. I'm Amber, I will be taking your questions. This is Gabriella Hernandez, CEO of Besame Cosmetics. And one thing I just wanted to ask right away so you can get your questions out there is if you had any questions uh, for Gabriella specifically about our skincare line. So if there's any questions you have about that, please put those in the chat and then Gabrielle will be answering them just a little bit later on in the video after she shares a very cool vintage thing that I'm very excited <laughs> about. So put those in the chat. All right, just wanted to get that out there early. Gabriella, hooray, thank you for joining us again today. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you all for, for joining me today. I wanted to um, talk a little bit about uh, a new piece that I just got um, that, that uh, actually is about nails and, and nail care. Uh, and it's a really early piece I wanted to show you and kind of talk a little bit about nails and nail polish in, in general. Uh, so we can talk about that. Uh, a couple of announcements. I wanted to uh, talk about the, um, the uh, compacts. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of you are thinking, well, the, the compact is almost sold out and then I won't have anything to refill. But uh, only this design is, we have about 100 left of this particular design, but, um, but the size of, of the refills in this particular design of Compact, um, we are continuing to manufacture and make different designs for you. Actually, we, this year alone, we have about 15 different Compact designs that are coming out. So you'll have all kinds of choices for, uh, for designs for your Compact, but the refill size, will stay the same. So you'll be able to refill it with any of our powders. Uh, we continue to make more powders as well for the refill. So, uh, so uh, don't worry about not getting this particular design if you did not get one, uh, because there'll be a lot of other designs coming, coming up very soon. Um, all the, uh, our iconic women have their own compacts also that are refillable just like this. So, um, so, you know, a lot of, a lot of really cool ones, uh, yeah. coming up in the future that you can refill with our refill. So, so the compact interior, uh, will remain the same. So you'll be able to refill it with any of our, our powder refills that, uh, that we make. So, uh, so just one quick announcement on, on that, if you did not get uh, this particular model of our compact. Um, and if you're uh, interested yes. in that model, it's there's only a hundred left, you said, or about hundred? Yes, 100, yeah, right? but yeah, so, I yeah. think that around a hundred <clears throat> left. Uh, so, so if you do want this particular Art Deco model, um, yeah, uh, go ahead and take advantage of that. There's about a hundred uh, left of them. Uh, and then after that, there'll be different designs that are coming out. Um, so it, it won't be exactly like this one, but uh, they will uh, be the same fill. So, so the fill will, will still fit. Excellent. That's great. So, That's very exciting. Would, yeah, it's a lot, it's a, there's a lot of compacts. I, I uh, remember I've been waiting such a long time to actually make these compacts. So I'm kind of going crazy with, with all these <laughs> different designs of these compacts. So some of these designs are for different collections that we're doing. So there'll be some that are tied to a collection and some that are, you know, our own, uh, our, our own uh, core uh, products. So there'll be all kinds of compacts to pick from. I, I don't even know which one I would pick. There's so many, <laughs> uh, so many pretty ones that <laughs> I don't even know which one I would, I would actually uh, take from all of these, uh, these collections. Uh, some of them are limited. So uh, when we do release them, uh, you know, make sure to look carefully because some are really limited and we only made so many and, and we cannot remake those. So if you actually like any of those, um, you know, branded uh, in collection type of compacts that we made with other partners, make sure to grab it when it does come out because we, we can't remake that particular design. Excellent. Yes, great to know. Uh, will be fun, and there'll be more details about these yes. upcoming compacts and everything else 
as soon as we can, but it's coming up very soon. So you won't very won't soon. too long. Yeah, very okay. soon, very soon. We have our, 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 our next collection coming out very, very soon, within a month or, uh, or two. And then, uh, and then our Dizzy collections are coming out as well after that. So, so we'll, we'll have things coming out very, very soon. Um, so another, uh, another announcement I wanted to make about our virtual appointments. Uh, remember the store now has virtual appointments so that you get uh, very, very specialized uh, information and you can ask uh, the stylist anything that you need. Uh, they can guide you, they can show you different colors and test them uh, for you. So, so a really interactive experience. So if you cannot make it to the shop, uh, or would rather just shop from from the uh, your home, um, make a uh, virtual appointment, and then you can have one of our ladies guide you through the whole store. Um, they also have some really neat store only things that when we get uh, you know things that we're short on or there's only a few left of something or other, they they have all these things just at the store level. Um, so a lot of things that never made it to actually the website are actually in the store. So there's a lot of really cool uh, goodies uh, in the store uh, arena. So uh, so when you make an appointment, they show you all of these things as well. So so if you're interested in that, uh, give them a call. Uh, I think uh, Amber's putting up the uh, the link yeah. for that. So if you yeah, you, uh, you also... want to make an appointment, absolutely, you can make an appointment online now. Just click the date and time yourself. Uh, the, that appointment is in the chat right there for virtual products. And it's a $10 mm -hmm. deposit mm -hmm. to schedule an appointment, but you get that $10 back with your first purchase. So it's just, just a deposit and then those $10 go towards your purchase during the call. So it's a really fun yeah. thing. People have been just loving it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. It's a really exciting, fun thing to do. So yeah, call the store or just go online uh, on the website in the chat there, and mm -hmm. you'll be able to uh, to get that appointment. Very fun. Awesome, Very awesome, awesome. So today I wanted to uh, show you uh, something that I, I I just got, and it's about um, it's from a company called Qtex, which is actually still in business and. This company started in 1911, and it started as a cuticle remover product. So um, there were products before that that removed cuticles, but they contain acids in order to do that. So they, they would kind of basically melt this, the, that little skin around the cuticle with, with an acid. So some of them were a bit more dangerous than others. Uh, Cutex had... Um, <clears throat> different formula. So it was uh, a gentler formula to do this. And that's the reason they were called Qtex because it kind of took out the cuticle. That was the idea for the name. Um, so they started with that product and then uh, very shortly after that started to make other products for nails like, uh, you know, uh, nail tools and buffing things. And they sold them uh, primarily at first in salons, in uh, through through uh, salons and to people who work in salons and would use them on their customers. Um, so so the the piece that I have uh, here today that to show you is from uh, 1935, and you can see it here. Um, it's a Qtex. Uh, you can see here the uh, ad photo for it. Um, it was uh, from 1935, and this one is called a paste polish. So when when um, nail polish first came out, the reason it was called polish is because actually you were putting this paste on your nail and then polishing it with a kind of a buffing uh, agent, like like a uh, a piece of cloth or uh, chamois. Or something like that that would that would basically buff the nails and polish them, like literally polish them. So that's why it was called polish. Uh, so it had nothing to do with uh, the nail enamels that we have now or a paint. It actually meant uh, exactly what it says that it would polish them and make them shiny. So this particular paste came um, sometimes with a colorant in them, uh, so that it would give the nails. Kind of a, a, a pinkish tone um, 
or without, depending on what you want it. But uh, but it's a it's a really cool kind of Art Deco uh, container here. It's made out of glass. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah. It's made out of glass, and it's like cut glass. That's really really pretty. It's it's kind of like a cut matte uh, glass, and it says nail polish on the front here. Uh, and then what you're supposed to do in the directions in the back here, it says you apply it with your fingertip to your nails and polish by rubbing nails briskly over the palm of your hand. So you could even rub them, rub them on your hand without having to actually use any kind of a, a buffing tool. So if we open this up uh, now, you can see inside it has this kind of pinkish looking, pinkish kind of looking uh, yeah, paste peach, in there. Yeah, there. kind of a peachy looking. So the, the, this, this product that it has a, a cap that's made out of metal and painted. So you can see it's like a tin cap. Um, yeah. And, uh, and, and the, the, this kind of consisted really mostly of um, of a bit of a, a, a buffing type of agent like a pumice stone or some kind of uh, even zinc, uh, something that had a very, very fine grit to it. And then some waxes and, and oil sometimes. So if we take some of this out, you can see it's kind of a very, over the years it's gotten kind of kind of hard, um, harder than before, but it's kind of like a pasty kind of consistency type of product. You can see here, if I lift this up and I can put some down here that it's kind of, kind of really pasty um, and thick. Yeah, um, it's very thick. Obviously, yeah, it's very thick. It, I think it's become uh, thicker with age, obviously, but but it is, it is uh, actually, a very very fine grit because um, you can feel when I when I move this on here with with the spatula that there is a very fine kind of a grit in in the in the paste itself. Yeah. Uh, so then you you would put this on the nail or rub it onto your nail a, a small amount of it in, onto your nail and then and then like the man said just kind of buff it. On, on your palm or or buff it with something but but this kind of this kind of product was very very popular because people didn't paint their nails they would they would actually polish them with something like this um and and something like this that that was colored so it would give the nails kind of a pinky type of tone uh and this is how they would they would keep their nails nice they they wouldn't uh, paint them with something opaque, they would actually, um, you know, take off the cuticle with the cuticle remover, um, file the nail, and then and then buff it with something like this. Uh, they also had a product called Nail White, uh, which was uh, it was either in a pencil format or in a paste format. But basically, what you did is you you would take that pencil that was a white pencil. And then you would run it underneath the nail, and uh, and then that's that's kind of how they did it. They they would put it under under the nail here, and 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 then it would make the end of your nail look lighter, so that if you had um, any you know dirt or darkness on the on the nail on the top of the nail, it would make it lighter, um, yeah. so it would look cleaner and more polish so so that's basically what um what what people would do in order to do the uh, early manicure uh turn of the century manicure is to use these products um it, and the polishers came in a paste like this one and they also came in a compact cake which is kind of a uh, uh, kind of a chalky type of uh, of uh cake and then you would rub that chalk uh, in the same way that you would rub this on it and kind of polish the nail. And does it, uh, we have some people commenting, it kind of looks like putty almost. It is does. It, wax, it does look like putty. Or, like how, yes. how does it, 
it's, it's, it's like very wax. waxy it's very mm -hmm. very waxy it's very very waxy and very very thick as you can see yeah. here I, don't, I think you can i think you can see oh here. yeah yeah it's it's, it's very very, <laughs> very waxy thick. and thick yeah you can see i'm oh, trying wow. to stab it here and it's very <laughs> very thick um so yeah it, it i mean it's gotten harder i think with age but it was it was a very um very very uh thick paste i think i'm getting that yeah can you yeah, see it yeah there? You can see, yeah you can kind of see it yeah it's um, very thick oh, that's it's so very very thick and uh but the container is really really quite pretty with uh with the art deco kind of uh design on it so yeah. it it's yeah it was very very interesting in, interesting uh product uh, and it was uh, very, very popular. Like most people would use this uh, and they would sell kits uh, that included a um, product like this. Um, plus your, you know, uh, your nail polishes, uh, your liquid in, there was a liquid one that was also kind of a, a polisher. There, there was a lot of different products, cakes, pastes, powders, sticks, you know, all kinds of things that they would use to to kind of make the nail look shiny and pinkish. That was yeah. the idea. Um, and this was before people actually polish like like actual nail nail color. Like this. people are also asking kind of a side note, what color are you wearing today for nail I'm polish? wearing the uh, I'm wearing the dusty rose. Oh yes, excellent. Dusty rose, That's yes. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a very pretty color. Um, and yeah, yeah the, the, this was actually before we had we had Paul, you know, nail enamels. Before enamels mm -hmm. came into the market, and and people uh, could actually paint um, colors that were non see through on the nails. At this at this uh, stage, they they only had paint that was more clear, see through type uh -huh. paint. So if there was a paint um that you could use it was pretty much a uh, uh, clear with a tiny hint of pink on it on yeah. it um but it was it was not it was not opaque yet like like this um so so most people would would do some something something like this uh and kept the nails nice and shiny um, yeah uh I think it, it it would work rather well. I think this this product um, uh, I think would would probably give you uh, very very shiny nails because it is it is thick, um, but but it you could tell there's a very fine fine grit of something in it, so it would polish a nail and uh, and give you really nice shine uh, if you were to put this on something. It's kind of like car wax, you know, where you put it on and then you buff it off. It's mm -hmm. kind of, uh, except this has a, a grit to it because it's trying to make the nail look smoother. Uh, so it's right. not just the wax, it's the wax plus a little bit of uh, an abrasive in there that's, uh, that's very, very, very fine. So you said there's some yeah some kind of natural wax in there and then some kind of abrasive like a pumice stone or a zinc would there be anything yes. and then and then the coloring that would kind of yes. probably be it right that's it yeah that, that that was it it wasn't a lot more in here uh, they use a different combinations of waxes so uh, usually you know two or three waxes depending so some are harder you know they would use some beeswax but also carnubas or other types of waxes so you have a mixture of soft wax and hard wax to mm -hmm. get a consistency that you like um and, and then uh and then depending on the whatever colorant they wanted to add to this and and, and whatever the uh the, the uh the pumice or the zinc or a, a, anything that provided the the um the grittiness of the of the paste but that was it it was a very very simplistic uh formula uh it just uh, you know they they just packaged it in a way where a consumer could easily access it but it wasn't very complicated as far as the formula is concerned uh none of these products were even the uh the the one that uh, was a 
uh, powder um, was also a very, very straightforward product, mainly kind of a chalky type of white um, uh, pumice or other type of, not a pumice stone, but something really, really refined. Um, but it kind of looks like a piece of chalk, uh, like a large piece of chalk. But it's um, but it's got a very very fine grit to it, and then you would rub that instead of this. So um, again, very uh, straightforward kind of formulations on these. That's but great. fun, a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, we definitely have a few people saying they'd love to see you make a similar product because they love the yeah, idea. Yeah, it, it would be fun. Yeah, it would be fun. I think if um, if it worked well, you know, you you would have to. Um, the trick to this is is always the proportions, you know, because if um, for something to work well, it has to have the right the right uh, proportions of elements. It's all about how much. Right. It's just like when you mix drinks, you know, when you make uh, drinks. Not that I drink because I, I actually don't drink, but when I, you know, when when you mix um, any kind of food and other things, uh, if if your proportions aren't quite right, your recipe is, goes completely off. You know, yeah. so so if you when you're making a cake, if you don't put the right amount of all these ingredients, then it's not going to taste the same. Yeah, um, and it is it's the same with with something like this. It's 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 finding the the correct proportions of things so that it functions correctly uh, and it does a good job. So that's really the um, the, the main thing to to making products a product like this. Uh, you know, so that it it works. Um, the way that it's supposed to, but yeah, I, I think it's a great product. I, I personally would, would use it uh, too, because I think yeah. it's fun when, when you don't want to paint your nails, you know, sometimes uh, you like color, but other times you, you know, you might want to just, just have bare nails um, and, yeah. uh, and polishing them is kind of an easy way to, to make it look like you have um, something on them without actually having any kind of paint on them that, you know, so it doesn't chip or anything like that. It's, yeah. It just looks pretty. Um, but uh, the color is also the interesting part of it, that they were able to put a, uh, a color stain on it that would, yeah. you know, make the nails kind of look pink uh, and shiny at the same time, which was kind of kind of neat as well. And, and inventive, uh, you know, of them uh, to, to do that before, you know, people were able to uh, to even paint them with actual paint. That's fascinating. Thank you for sharing that. A very neat product yeah, from 1935. Very yeah. Fascinating to see that holding up still. Uh, so yeah, I know. All of these are very fun. It's yeah. very interesting how, how these products that have been uh, around for so long are still in one piece. You know, you still have yeah. the the container. Everything about it is is, you know, pretty much in one piece. It is obviously uh, hardened in that because it's it's been so long. But yeah. uh, uh, but but otherwise though, it's not like uh, it's you know completely uh, gone bad. It's actually still yeah. intact, uh, which is very uh, kind of neat for something this this old. Um, I don't even know what. Oof. Ooh, wait. <laughs> it smells. It smells pretty rancid though. <laughs> That's for yeah, sure. So yeah, yeah. Not, it, it smells like very rancid o oil. Uh, very, very rancid oil. If you've ever smelled uh -huh. rancid oil, that's kind of what it smells. So it, sure. I don't know if it initially had a fragrance. Some of their products actually did. Hmm. Um, even the cuticle remover actually had a rose uh, fragrance to it. Hmm. So, so it was common to put some kind of fragrance into these products so it might yeah. have had a rose a rose um, scent to it uh, when it was made uh, obviously it's not there now but but uh, yeah. but it might have had might have had it um, if they put it in the cuticle remover they might have put it in other products as well yeah oh mm -hmm. neat so mm -hmm. cool so we did have some skincare questions and some other cool. uh, other fun questions so sure. if you all have any questions uh, still or, or think of some, please still write them in the chat. If I miss mm -hmm. one, please just write it again. Uh, we'll start with Megan. Cool. She had an early question. 
uh, with the skincare line is she asked, mm -hmm. am I supposed to use the day cream and the vanishing cream at the same time or just use one or the other? I would use one or the other. Uh, basically, the vanishing cream is is uh, to use underneath your makeup. So it works really well underneath your makeup to kind of make a nice base for your makeup because it's more matte, you know, or, or the finish mm -hmm. is more matte. Uh, and it's meant to take out redness and other things, so it helps with your makeup. Um, so, uh, so I would use the vanishing for that. Uh, the day cream is is a day moisturizer. It's kind of like a really light feeling moisturizer. So, if you're not going to wear makeup uh, and you just want a moisturizer, then that one is a great kind of lightweight moisturizer um, that that works really well if you just need moisture. Um, but do not necessarily need it to be a primer for your uh, for your medics that you're putting over the top or like your foundations and other things. Um, also, you can use the day cream if you are drier, you know, you still have dry areas and uh, you want to um, to put that first and let that sink in for a while. Uh, and then when that product actually sinks in and you, you have plumper skin already, then you can put the vanishing then and, and then your makeup if you want to do that. So if you have especially dry areas and you need extra moisture, then you can use the day cream first and then let it sit for a while so that you, you get the benefits of that and then apply the other cream as a primer for your makeup. Great, excellent. Uh, very fun answer. I know I use I use both because I'm very a very dry skin. Um, but yeah, yeah such a, that's so helpful to hear all the ways you can use that. Excellent. Uh, let's see. We had um, one question of would there be a possible eye cream in the future and a lip balm? Both those. Yes, things. actually, I'm I'm working on both. I have both actually in development right now. Uh, the eye cream is almost done, so I'm I'm getting to the eye cream very shortly and also the uh the lip moisturizers i have several that i have in development right now so yes we have those products and they are coming uh hopefully i will have them before the end of this year middle of this year oh excellent that's exciting yay let's see oh we had a fun uh lisette asked and i'm sorry my miss french your name but lisette asked um initially right as the video started that could you ever do a tutorial of your makeup, Gabriella? And also Nicole sure. on Facebook said uh, she just loves your makeup, needs a whole palette of everything you're wearing. So, oh my goodness, you ever okay, doing a little <laughs> a sure. little makeup tutorial of your look. People oh, would sure. love it. Oh, definitely. I I will I will schedule that and and show you all the products and all the things. Uh, the thing with with what what I wear is that. Most of the time I wear the stuff that I'm working on. So I don't yeah. have it ready for you to buy, but I'm testing all kinds of different stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of like wearing whatever I got that I'm actually working on. So yeah. it's, all, it's all kind of bits of things all over the place. Um, so, uh, so not quite, you know, uh, products that are not quite ready and are not out yet. So, so when I do have the, all the things that I'm wearing, uh, out, then I will uh, definitely do a tutorial on how to use them. But uh, but it's hard when not everything <laughs> that I'm wearing <laughs> yeah. I could actually uh, show you because it's still kind of in a development too. So yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. funny. Uh, but also, we did. Which um, lip color are you wearing today? I'm wearing Forever Red today. Oh, lovely! Delightful. Uh, Forever Red. Yes, uh, I'm wearing the Mary club. Poppins Red. Cool. Anyone wants to see that one. Uh, let's see. We had a, oh, uh, the Violet Revolution asked, will velvet lipstick bags ever come back? The velvet? Yes. I, I actually, you know, I had I had made some uh, of, of the velvet material. And then um, when they arrived, they were the wrong size. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, I know. I was I was so disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but, you know, it happens, you know, uh, factories make mistakes, things go wrong. So, um, so yeah, so all of these bags, unfortunately, 
were the wrong size, so I couldn't I I couldn't put them out for you. So uh, they are in the process of re revamping them. So as soon as we can remake them to the right size, we'll put them out again. Oh, great. Um, now, Sonia is uh, one of our viewers. She comes a lot from Berlin. She's curious mm -hmm. if there, if the new collections will be available in the EU at all, or if there's any updates on that. We're we're, we're working on, on it right now. Um, as you know, there's a lot of things going on over there. A lot of changes in regulations. A lot of yeah. things, uh, especially between the EU and the UK. So we are trying to um, kind of maneuver ourselves around all these new regulations and figure out how to service uh, our customers over there. So we will uh, we will figure it out. We're working on it, and I think we'll figure it out and and then uh, continue to be able to service because I know that a lot of people have been asking about uh, shipments over there. So we are uh, we are trying to work within the new regulations and, and see what the best way to get products over there is. And uh, very soon we'll have we'll have something set up for that. Great. So you had a few questions over on Facebook. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh gosh, there it just moved away <laughs> all of a sudden. <laughs> Honey asked about if there's any plan for lip liners in the future. Yes, we were working on some lip liners. It, it, you know, with a COVID situation, all of these things got delayed uh, a lot because of, of uh, shipments and sh shipping issues all around the world. So we were working on all of these uh, lip liners um, and we just, it, it didn't get here. Uh, so we are trying to finish all these products, but yes, we had uh, eyeliners and lip liners all in, in the queue. Um, to get to get uh, produce, but uh, but they just haven't made it yet. But we we are working on it definitely. Um, which kind of pencils do you prefer? I would like to know because uh, I, you know some people like wood pencils and other people like automatic pencils. Wh which ones are your favorites? Yes, please tell us in the chat. Oh, yeah. that'd be so exciting! Your favorite, uh, your favorite pencils, and for lip pencils and eye pencils, Gabriella, or yeah, for or both, whichever. yeah, for both, because uh, because they come in you know both ways. You can have them yeah, automatic, where you just twist it and you get the the lead on the top, or or the old fashioned uh, wood one that you sharpen, you know, every time uh, that you you want you want more lead. So, so it really depends right. on your preference, you know. Um, at this point, uh, if you're looking at the eco side of things, obviously wood pencils you, you can sharpen, and they, you know, they're made out of wood. Um, and, but the the uh, materials available now for automatics are also recyclable materials. So there are options on both on both things now that that were not there before. So. So, um, so both can be made in, in a sustainable way. So, so it really depends on preference on w what people would prefer. Excellent. Let's see, we had a few other questions. Um, mm -hmm. People, so some people are asking uh, for dates and exactly what the next collection will be, which we can't quite share yet. Yeah, but we can't we, do that we yet. Announce, but... <laughs> but our next collection will be an iconic women collection yes Correct. yes that that's what's coming up next yes the, the next iconic woman is is the next collection that we're launching cool and that'll be pretty soon yeah uh, at the yes. beginning of the video gabriel said in a month or two so yeah uh, so yeah coming up pretty soon uh yes it'll be very exciting to see just looking through here so we're getting uh more people we're getting a few people saying automatic pencils but more people oh. so far are saying wooden pencils Okay. Uh, day has more product. It stays fresh longer. Um, you can sharpen it to get your own sharp point every time. Yeah, uh, that's so yeah. cool. So yeah, so what? Yeah, wooden liners are are uh, beating out the other ones just a little bit in the chat. So yeah, Barbara, please keep. If you haven't remarked yet, please do. Absolutely love to hear it. I think that's a great. A great yeah, survey there. I, I mean, I like I like both for different things. I mean, there are formulas that that we can't do in the wood because mm -hmm. of the fact that you know uh, you know the the 
kind of the 24 hour um, setting type pencils that, you know, you put them on and they kind of set uh, and, and don't move. Oh. So those mm -hmm. kinds of pencils um, you can't really do in the wood because they contain um, solvents in the formula that actually, you know, uh, are volatile compounds that could uh, that go away and then leave just the color so that uh -huh. so that that color stays where you put it and the pencil doesn't doesn't move so in order to do that you need these compounds in the formula and uh they don't work with wood because wood is an absorbent uh product so right. so those compounds would be leached into the wood and and then it would dry the pencil out so right. so you can't really use the, the wood for that that's why usually they come in um either um automatics um that are uh airtight you know because you need you mm. need an airtight cap because if not it dries out because of those those solvents in the formula so you need an airtight cap for it and uh it needs to be a container that doesn't absorb these these uh things as well so usually they do um polyethylene which is you know the it's in kind of it's a plastic that is that they make the you know the supermarket bags out of but they actually make pencils that you can sharpen but that that are not actually wood um so that mm -hmm. material is used a lot with uh with these uh, automatic uh not automatic but you know the, the uh, 24 hour type pencils or yeah. the waterproof pencils what they call them um so that material uh or or they use a regular uh kind of automatic one that you twist and it's uh it's it's a component and you twist it and, and it has a cap to it uh, that locks so so yeah. both of those so those are the only formulas it's like if you want that kind of a formula it's very hard to do it's, it's not possible to do it in the wood but any other formula you can you know any any kind of uh, powdery formulas or smudgy pencils, you know, very soft pencils. You you can do a lot of different types of formulas. Um, mm -hmm. Pencils that stay on are very nicely, but they're not the the ones that contain those volatile compounds. Um, those those you can't really do with it. Yeah, we had a couple more comments of anything that's mm -hmm. more eco friendly or refillable. Those are mm -hmm. other options other options yeah too. so like let less plastic seems to be the yeah biggest one. yeah well the the wood the wood ones are the best you know obviously because you, you know it it you, you you know basically the wood you it's you can put in your uh compost or you know it's it's entirely uh a not natural material and the uh yeah. especially if the caps you know if, if the caps are not plastic you know if you use uh, aluminum caps, then then you can recycle all of it. You know, basically there there is no leftover waste on on those types of pencils because you can sharpen them to the end, and then you can recycle the caps uh, with your uh, aluminum recycling. So, uh, so yeah, the 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 wood ones I think are the best options for for easy recycling. I think um, the automatics can be recycled, but uh, but you, you know, obviously you have to take them where they recycle that specific plastic. Mm -hmm. uh, they do make them out of plastics that are uh, meant to be recycled, you know, plastics that are easily recyclable. Um, but it still has to, you know, go to a center to be able to be converted into, into new plastic. Right. Interesting. Uh, lovely. A couple other questions. Uh, Jade mm -hmm. had a question. She asked uh, if, uh, do you like Alice in Wonderland? And we had another question of, would you consider doing an Alice in Wonderland collection? I, I do like Alice in Wonderland. I think uh, uh, the artwork for it is really, really cute. Um, uh, the, the thing with Alice is uh, obviously she's very, very young. So it's, it's, uh, it's a very yeah, youthful, uh, collection, so we we might do it uh, for for something. It's just uh, I haven't done it yet because I really didn't you know didn't present itself to to do Alice. Um, but but it you know it's it's an idea. There's there's so many wonderful characters that Disney has. A, it it's uh, endless of the 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 things that we can do with all the things uh, that mm -hmm. they're doing. Um, 
in the next years, uh, um, uh, Disney is celebrating the park uh, because of, of, yeah. of the so many years of opening. So they're actually celebrating uh, the park and the rides and all of that. So so that's a huge uh, thing that's going on with with Disney itself, uh, which is fun as well. Uh, so so there's so many so many things that you'll see as far as other brands doing, other merchandise that's coming out. Uh, for all kinds of uh, celebrations that Disney is is doing uh, this year and next year as well. Yay! We have some eye eye makeup questions. Of would mm -hmm. you consider doing another color of cake mascara? And would you also consider having a, a core Besame shadow eyeshadow line? Yes, actually, we we well we are working on that uh, on the shadows themselves. We have we have core shadows coming out very soon. We're working on those. Um, as far as a different color of, uh, of uh, cake mascara, what color are you thinking? Yeah, let us know. Uh, yeah, colors... let us know what colors you're, you're thinking that you would, you would want to wear, you know, of, of cake mascara. Yeah. Uh, it's, and... uh, oh, yeah. it's challenging to make cake mascara because it, it's a very yeah. difficult part. It looks easy, but it's actually not. It's a very hard formula to make, uh, very difficult to work with it uh, because it's hard to pour. It's hard. It's a hard formula actually to work with, um, mm. and also uh, the colors that we can make uh, are also uh, more difficult because you have to you have to only use colors that are eye safe in, in that way. Yeah. So and that are water soluble. So there's a lot of issues with colors and things that are safe in both in both camps either water soluble and also eye safe so um so so we are uh limited sometimes by which colors uh we can use on the eye usually reds are the most challenging because reds are usually not eye safe colors interesting i know there's always mm -hmm. so much more to everything <laughs> there there's a lot to everything yeah I'm sure <laughs> That's so fun. Uh, let's see. We had uh, well, we did have um, a number of people also say that they loved the how the Lucy pencils were that with the oh, wood yes. and the formula. Yes, they really yes. love that. And we do have. We also had a question if the Lucy pencils are available at the boutique, and just the red is available. So the red lip liner is yes. available at the boutique. So that's yes. something you could get in the virtual appointments. That you wouldn't be yes. able to get online so that is is available i don't think there's very yes. many of those left i know that's the only liner left so yes really want, right now uh, get that appointment yes, <laughs> yes for, for now, right now course. for right now yes uh yeah those pencils are really great we uh we uh, love those those are from our, our our partners in spain so those came from oh. our partners in spain which make wonderful wonderful pencils over there um and uh, we 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 don't make uh, that kind of pencil here uh, i wish we did but we just don't have manufacturing for uh pencils in wood here um we make uh pencils for art supplies you know for like pencils like number two pencils and things like that mm -hmm. but cosmetic pencils are a whole other thing and we just don't have facilities that make these here so uh usually we have to go to our European partners to to do them because uh, because that's that's where most of the manufacturing for these products are. That's fascinating. We have some results mm -hmm. on, on. I love all these little surveys today. Go yeah, we have some uh, yeah. results. So uh, yeah. navy is definitely the biggest navy. request. Okay, a navy blue. Okay. We also have some people that would like a cooler toned brown. A more okay. toned brown, and then a couple okay. for a deep green, which that deep would be green. my vote too. <laughs> okay, okay. And said well, red mascara, yeah. which is very, very daring red mascara. But navy, yeah, red mascara navy would be and harsh. Cool brown, I'd say, are the the big yeah. colors so far. Yeah, those are uh, great. I I love those colors actually. Those are very pretty colors. Uh, we can look at it and see what colors we can make. Um, and. Uh, and how bright we can get with the colors, because again, it's mm -hmm. it's all about what pigments we can use and uh, that are really safe for the eyes, and and we get a good yeah. result so that the color looks nice. You know, it doesn't look muddy or, uh, you know, not not attractive. 
So, yeah. so it's really, you know, we, we'll, we have to test it out and see what we can do. But I think it's definitely possible when we can, uh, we can try it. All right. Uh, Amy asked, will the perfumes be back? Yes, yes, the perfumes will be back. We are working on the perfumes right now. Uh, again, it's, uh, it's, it's just a juggling process. Uh, remember, a lot of parts come from different um, parts of the world, you know. The glass comes from Italy and Italy has been shut down for a while. So uh, all the plants over there were kind of not, not working for a long time. And even now they're very, very limited uh, right now. They, they're still um, actually on, on partly lockdown over there. Um, mm -hmm. so, so it's hard. It's really hard to get um, uh, all the parts here so that we can you know, get, get all those things together. Uh, a lot of pieces do come from uh, our European partners, so it's it's hard to get those products uh, shipped and, and uh, able to fill. But we are working on it. Uh, actually, now things are starting to move again, so I'm very hopeful that we'll get this together this year. <laughs> Good. Yes. That's a great update. Um, yes. Wonderful. And then we had a few people say some just very sweet things that they love these videos every week. Um, and love hearing about oh. all the whole process and getting more information about just everything. That is oh, thank you. So, thank you. Oh, very, I'm, very I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad to tell you uh, guys, because uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very lonely, you know, working with all these problems by yourself. <laughs> uh, so, so it's nice to tell you guys all of the things that go behind the scenes, um, because it, it does take uh, quite a bit of uh, heavy lifting to get anything anything done um especially when you are relying on so many different uh, partners to get different parts and to get different pieces and uh and that's um it's kind of like planning a wedding you know how uh, if you've ever planned a party or a wedding uh you know that you have all of these different people and you have to get them all there at one time it's kind of similar to that to come uh, together and make a product is is a similar thing you have all of these people and they all have to come together at that particular time. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. and that's how it, it works. And, you know, sometimes it works and other times there are uh, some hiccups along the way, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. but yeah, but, it, but, it, but it's uh, definitely um, an interesting process and uh, uh, it, it keeps you going. Definitely. You, you have to be on your toes, you know, um, yeah. and, but but it, it's fun. I mean, I enjoy it. I do it because I enjoy it, uh, and I enjoy the design process. I enjoy bringing you things uh, that I think are neat and that uh, and I think you would enjoy. So so for me, it's a treat to do all these things, even though uh, it's a lot of problem solving. It just uh, it, it's just a lot of fun as well. Hey, that's lovely, and it's so fun to get to hear from everybody as well uh to hear you know i love hearing in real time <laughs> what kind of yes they would like. awesome no so, that's great so cool. that, that's great that, yeah I, I like to know what people think because you know i have you know what i think and what i like as far as different products but but i'm not quite sure sometimes uh if you like uh, those things like you know have you used these uh, kind of 24 hour pencils. Do you like them or do you not like that kind of formula? You know, because some yeah. people like that, like, like those pencils that kind of set and then they, they don't move and other people, uh, maybe don't like those as well. Yeah. They want pencils that are, uh, that are soft and, uh, and then stay like that and stay soft. So it really depends, I think on, on, um, on preference. Just like a liquid lipstick, I mean, liquid lipstick, I think has um, uh, has a place, you know, because for certain things, especially with masks and things, they, they, they come in handy uh, or special occasions or uh, times when you don't, you know, you don't want your lipstick to rub off at all. Um, so I, I do like them for, for that kind of thing. Now, yeah. I wouldn't necessarily personally wear them on a daily basis. Um, but I know there's people that do, and that's great yeah. if you enjoy that. Um, I like them uh, on a you know as needed basis. I use I do use them sometimes, but not all the time. Uh, 
but I, I think it's, it has a place and, and definitely it's something I would consider as well. Yeah, and maybe we could have a, a, another kind of town hall of sorts of people's preferred makeup formulas and stuff. Yeah, yes, we yes. We love yes. hearing it. So you can always leave comments on videos or DM us on Instagram uh, if there's any yes. comments and things like that. Or in future videos, yeah, if there's something, uh, you know, you just would love to hear Gabrielle talk about or, oh, I would love a liquid lipstick, just go ahead and bring it up and we'll uh, get more into it. We just love to hear all of those comments and considerations. Yay. Yes. So thank yeah. you all so much. Yes, and Gabriella, wonderful as always. I love thank that you. nail polish. <laughs> so neat. Yeah, isn't that fun? The, the, the little yeah. cutex. <laughs> so neat. Awesome. And then, uh, yeah, go ahead and I'll put it uh, back in the chat one more time. There's the virtual shopping experience. If you yes. are interested, you can make this online. The compacts, the design. The current yes. design is almost out. Yes. So if you want that design, you might want to get it more quickly, though we will have more refillable compacts that are the same refill size coming up all throughout yes. the year. So thank you mm -hmm. so much for joining us. And Gabriella will be back with you next week at the same time. And we will see you all then. Bye. Bye-bye. Well,